The title of this uh, press conference is uh, Let the Old World Tell Governor Gordon Obaseki That His Second Term Ambition Is Not Worth the Blood and Life of Any Edo State Citizen. Less than one month to the Edo governorship election, and with defeat staring Mr. Gordon of Baseki and his party of tax collectors, the PDP, in the face, they have both abandoned their pretense at democracy and guided participation in the election, and brazenly and unbridledly embarked on the execution of their plans to prevent the people of Edo State from delivering a verdict on the four-year misrule of Obaseki at the polls on the 19th of September with violence and other criminal acts that borders and verges on intimidation and jackboot oppression. Let it be known by the whole world that the governor of Edo State and his government in continuation of their disregard for the rule of law, democratic ethics and ethos, and constitutionalism has intensified their illegal importation of dangerous arms and ammunition, as well as the daily recruitment and importation of notorious thugs and criminals from neighboring PDP, from neighboring PDP states, particularly Delta, for the purpose of causing mayhem and disrupting peaceful conduct of the election in most parts of Edo State. We have it on good authority that the Edo State government and members of its teaching cabinet have drawn up a list of prominent APC leaders across Edo State that they have targeted for maiming, physical assault, assassination, kidnapping, and sponsored robbery attacks, whilst also tinkering with the idea of using heavy-duty trailers to orchestrate road accidents of APC leaders before or on the day of the September 19th governorship election. In Oredo, Wafiri, for example, Oredo local government in Edo State, the world where I vote, there have been multiplication of firearms given to mobilize talks as if firearms have become political chewing gums. And this is replicated in practically all the nooks and crannies of the political theater that is adjusted just now. Guns to shoot whom? Let Kodunob Baseki be aware and be told by the whole world that this business of electionary franchise has to do with the winning of the souls and minds of the people. It does not have to do with guns, arms, and ammunition. Edo, state are not, Edo, Edo citizens are not slaves. Edo citizens are peacemakers. We are alarmed at the rapid multiplication of these firearms and the now too common presence of violent groups with prolific ammunition who are on the march with the Edo State Governor as he campaigns from place to place and in the process terrorizing the people and leaving behind an unfortunate and lugubrious trail of blood, tears, sorrows everywhere he goes during his campaigns. Rather than excite, Mr. Governor's campaign trail has now become a bad omen, a harbinger of evil, and a stage of wanting violence and shootings, causing residents to flee their homes upon hearing news of the outgoing governor's visit. This was indeed the case on Wednesday, August 19th, in Equip and local government, when talks hired and armed by the Edo State government turned their guns on each other and shot an innocent citizen in the fracas and melee that ensued. We are disappointed. 
disheartened and extremely repulsed by the fact that a government that failed the youths and derided them at every turn has now gone ahead to place guns purchased with state resources that could have gone into empowerment schemes in the hands of same, urging them to wreak havoc and risk their lives and those of others in the process. We are equally aghast at the fact that a governor that spent four years chasing away investors from a dust state with his tyranny, bad faith and targeted policies and destruction of people's legitimate properties on the account of their political views has now committed a humongous amount of state resources to the mobilization of dogs, court groups, assassins, and other criminals into the state to carry out his murderous plans, all in a bid to avoid a fate sealed for himself with his incompetence and Olympianly aloof political disposition. All of this, all of this, show clearly that the outgoing Edo State Governor has become desperate and now willing to muzzle his way back to government house. But must Edo State become a candidate field of blood, tears, sorrows, and death for the realization of his second term aspirations? We say no to that. The people of Edo State will resist any attempt to intimidate, cut out them into political serfdom. We are not only condemning and deprecating in the strongest terms this daily distribution of illegal arms to mobilize stocks, we demand an investigation and arrest that will be followed by swift prosecution as a mark of seriousness on the part of security agencies to protect the integrity of the, cent of the September governorship 19 election. Arms proliferation has fueled insecurity in Nigeria for years, and we are convinced and persuaded that by clamping down on Governor Baseki and his agents of terror, who on daily basis are finally canalizing state funds for the illegal acquisition and distribution of weapons, the security agencies will be laying a marker in the sand and sending a strong and unequivocal signal to other perpetrators of this crime that it will no longer be business as usual. Nothing warrants nor justify this undemocratic inclination to violence where the exchange of ideas should reign supreme. The protection of the integrity of the adult governorship election from the brooding and sprawling violence of Mr. Governor Basakis is a collective obligation that must be shared by all well-meaning citizens and groups interested in the survival of democracy and the constitutional right and freedom of the people to determine the leadership of their state and their representatives in government. The business of electoral franchise is a business of winning the souls and minds of the Edo people. It is not a business of funneling and canalizing state resources to buy arms and ammunition and to distribute to political talks. We say Kabudu rejectamenta to the antics of Mr. Governor. It's on this note that I thank you for listening. Yes. And fair elections, devoid of coercion, devoid of intimidation, and devoid of cowing the adjusted citizens into a state of political somnolence to the extent that they will become afraid to come out from their respective houses to cast their vote. Whatever security stratagem available to the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to bring this about becomes its sole mandate. Ours is that we must put the federal government on notice that the government of Gordon Obaseki is not interested in a free and fair election, and part of their strategy devolves on political violence, which is aimed at carrying our people not to come out to exercise their ele electoral franchise. It is sufficient for us as a responsible party to put this sufficiently in the public domain 
and to bring this and place it under focal biceps and biceps before the security arch architecture. And, and, and in doing that, we are craving your cooperation and craving your partnership in discharging that information. It now, it now behoves on the federal government to take note and discharge its constitutional responsibilities to the people of Edo State. Your principle, which means begging the question, APC cannot be orchestrating or occasioning political contrivances aimed at postponing the election. When we are the party to beat, why would we do that? When our candidate is the most viable candidate in the political field just now, why would we do that? When our candidate and, and our party has been able to connect with the political egregor of Edo State, why would we do that? If there's any political party that is afraid to come face to face, to democratically interface with their Edo State citizens, it is the governor and the People's Democratic Party. And that is why the formal strategy that has been deployed by Governor Baseki and his political mafia dome borders on violence, borders on intimidation, borders on thuggery, borders on recruitment of thugs, not only within a do state, but even from outside the territorial integrity of a do state. It is the PDP that, that is afraid of election. If we do this election today, by the grace of God and by the support of the people which we are confident of, we will be able to say Vendi, Vindi, Vicky. <laughs> Opportunity to interface uh, with you. Uh, you are, you, are, you are partners in building the nation. May God continue to grant you the wisdom and courage to discharge your noble and onerous constitutional onus probandi. Thank you so much.